The Panasonic Open Championship teed off in Japan at the Ibaraki Country Club West Course on Thursday. The final event of the five-leg Panasonic swing, India's Shiv Kapoor needs to make the cut this week to maintain his large lead over his closest challengers in hopes of becoming the inaugural winner. Kapoor would close out his opening round at one under after finishing with a par four here at the ninth. Kapoor's nearest challenger in the swing is Ratanon Wanashritran, who needs a top finish this week to overtake the leader. However, the Thai's charge stumbled out of the gate, finishing two over par through his opening nine holes. Looking to improve on a second place finish this week, Ryo Ishikawa opened his day with a double bogey on his first hole. Ishikawa closed the day at level par, just missing this birdie part of the ninth for an opportunity to finish in the red numbers. Scott Hend was making his return to golf after a four-week layoff due to a back injury. Unfortunately, the Australian will have work to do in round two after starting with a double bogey and closing with 14 consecutive pars to finish two over par. Winner of the Panasonic Open in 2016, Yuta Ikeda also left himself work to do after round one as the 56th ranked player in the world finished alongside Hend at two over. <coughs> Japan's Masahiro Kawamura finished his round with one bogey, an eagle and five birdies, of which the final one came here at the 18th, moving the 24-year-old to five under par, two off the lead. Also posting a 66 was defending champion Kenichi Kaboya, who posted six birdies against a single bogey on Thursday, despite struggling with a bad back throughout the day. <laughs> Meanwhile, in second place, all by himself, was Rikua Kinoshita, who failed to convert this birdie attempt at the par 5 13th. However, the 26-year-old would eagle the 18th to finish at six under par. But it was a pair of Japanese that came down the final hold in a share of the lead at seven under par. First up, looking to take the outright lead at the ninth, was Japan favourite Shingo Katayama, who missed his birdie part by mere inches. And that left Rikua Hishohino with the opportunity to take the clubhouse lead, with a birdie part of his own one group later. However, the 21-year-old would settle for par and a share of the lead heading into round two.